What's happening guys, this is Flo, and I'm here with Sly, and today we're going to talk about LeBron James being a billionaire, the first active player to do so, um, I guess before pre-taxes he generates more than 1.2 billion in earnings, Sly, what do you think about this man? Yeah, it's good for him man, you know, obviously, you know, him doing that. Um, with all these endorsements, do I think he makes more money from endorsements and then uh, actually NBA? So, um, good for him. But I'm gonna look at it from a basketball perspective. This guy wants to be the greatest of all time. Personally, I think he is, but I think I'm in the minority here. Everyone says Jordan is. Uh, you gotta take a pay cut, man. Take a pay cut. Bring in a few extra studs in there. Get that sixth ring. Go for that seventh. If you do that, man. I mean, look at Tom Brady, man. He Every year it seemed like he was taking pay cuts, and he's the GOAT, man. Everyone knows him as the GOAT, and the guy's going to get so many endorsement deals till the day he dies. So I think LeBron James, he's got to do the same thing, man. He's He's got the billion. Why, what else do you need, man? Now it's all about the legacy. So hopefully he steps it up and uh, takes that pay cut because, honestly, I think he could do it. Win another three, and you're the GOAT. So we'll see what happens, man. Yeah, man, and it's crazy that he's an active player and he was able to reach this milestone. Usually, guys, they don't get this until way later past their uh, careers. Guys like Michael Jordan, man, it took him forever to like uh, reach these kind of numbers. But obviously, LeBron James, he had a good financial team with him. He's been a part of Nike, AT&T, Pepsi, Walmart. He just has all these different uh, ventures. He also has that new tequila company, was it, Lobo 1707. So the guy's really smart, uh, branched out. He didn't just stick to uh, solely basketball. And it's crazy because he's, like, the, I think, truly, probably one of the greatest players of all time, too, if not the greatest. So, uh, And it just seems like he's a pretty good businessman as well. And then uh, I think this allows him to do what you said, take a pay cut in his NBA uh, career towards the end of it and then try to get those chips, man, because at the end of the day, even though he has this bank to uh, fall back on, that's going to be great for his family and uh, future generations, but for his own personal legacy, he has to go get those chips, and I think now he put himself in a situation to take those pay cuts and go after those uh, last few titles that he needs to cement his legacy as number one. Yeah, man, I think he's got to do it. Like I said, he's financially secure. He doesn't need no more money. It's all about winning. Now he still has a few, I think, probably three, four years left in him. So you got to do it, man. You you got you got the money. You got everything. All you need right now is those chips, you know, just so you can cement yourself as the go. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens, man. But uh, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. See, hopefully he stays with the Lakers. Man, that's all I know. He's, if you're gonna take the pay cut, stay with the Lakers at least, you know. So, we're gonna see, man. It's gonna be fun, interesting, and uh, anything else? No, you guys let us know what you guys think about the billionaire. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace. Peace.